Today was hard and really great too. And the reason I started this channel was because of the great pain of the grease, of the grease, the grief that took over me, all right? Grief is a reaction to loss. So I'm very, I mentioned in a previous video that grief changes you and that you have to learn how to integrate the new you and I've been working really, really hard on that, okay? <clears throat> so anyway, um, I'm also a growing YouTube content creator because I have a lot to say. I learn a lot of things too because <clears throat> my mind is an analytical landscape. I heard that on a different YouTube video and I just lost my mind because I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. I it's a good thing that I know what meditation is because sometimes I'm genuinely annoyed <laughs> just because this is always <clears throat> always circulating some some sort of idea and I don't know if I could offer you five minutes in my brain I wonder if you'd walk out horrified or inspired who knows <laughs> but I had a very adult moment with someone today and I'm taking a chance and I'm saying this out loud because I heard something else that fed my mind which I was considering doing but I can't go that far right now which is when you're having an emotional vulnerable moment put it out there and sure I'm crying right now but I can't show you what I did to feel that vulnerability because I can't it's just too personal you know I can't put myself I can't put those tears on camera because right now it's just hard to speak because I'm in great pain grieving but I can't show you what me crying from a genuine place looks like because that's too much you know but I'm saying this because I had a very uncomfortable adult moment today with someone that I love eternally I love this person no matter what but I had to have a moment today where I sat up and said I love you but I can't I cannot as I was going through the moment with this person I recognized you're doing this because you are what you are and I, I saw myself, I, I, the thought crossed my mind, they are what they are. So then as soon as the moment escalated, I had to show my cards. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have to go. One of those, again, I love you eternally, but I cannot be around you. But it got to me that this person was judging me because I'm like, I am working at myself because I recognize I have reasons to. You have not, you have not gotten the depth that I have. So like Brene Brown says, you don't get to tell me anything about whatever because I am the one who's done the work so you can back off. <clears throat> so then this person texted me because they didn't like that I said, don't yell at me, <laughs> you know? So as soon as this things escalated and as soon as I didn't feel right about being around, I booked it. <clears throat> so anyway, this person brought, this person was brought, <laughs> Missy has something to do with between this person and me, which is why the connection is, <laughs> One that I'm like, oh, I hate having to do this, but I can't be around you. Oh, like I just have to go. I have to choose me first right now. The point is just sometimes you have to mean what you say. And put them up means, well, here are my boundaries. And if you can't adhere to them, I have to respect yours. And 
acknowledge that I can't follow yours. Therefore, I gotta go. It's like doing laundry, it sucks, but it's gotta get done. Good luck with that. Bye. I just remembered that Brene Brown has a special on Netflix, so thank God. Um, if you haven't checked out Brene Brown, she's amazing. She's a great author. I learned about her in my grad school days, so not till I was 20, somewhere between 20 and 31. So yeah, Brene Brown, good looking out.